Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica the Dancing Avon Lady and today I have an exciting launch for you guys. So this is one of our biggest and new launches for the entire 2020 year and I have, guess what, the entire collection here for you. Today we have the entire new Issa Knox line out for you and I am thrilled about this line. We have been doing trainings on it, we've been learning about it and I can't wait to share all the information with you guys. Um, so today's video is going to be a first impressions video as I always do and then I am going to work with it for about two weeks to see how it does make a difference for my face. The last time I did a two week skincare uh, video was actually with our Mission Lux product here and oh my gosh this thing is gorgeous so I am putting this away for two weeks. Ooh, I'm putting it away for two weeks to give this new line a try, but I am very excited about it. Now, the beauty of Isanox and with the Isanox line, what is formulated with the key, one of the key ingredients in it is that is derived from rare peony. The packaging itself is absolutely stunning. Even just the box is like very luxurious, very rich. Ugh, it's just so gorgeous. And um, I have four pieces here for you to see today. I have a face an eye serum yes you heard me right an eye serum from avon and then also i have a day cream and the night cream so lots of things to do so what i am going to do so make sure you do watch the end for the um serum that in the eye serum i am going to use it on on both sides of my face but what i'm going to do is on one side of my face i'm going to use the day cream and the other side of my face i'm going to use the night cream just to kind of give it a shot and give it a whirl there's nelson hey boo i don't think he realizes that i'm filming so these products are currently available to be purchased by consumers like yourself so if you are interested in it make sure you do hit up my online store down in the description box below so isa is derived from the name Isabella so it's just like Isabella Duncan and some other Isabella so I don't remember but it's like grace and beauty and then the Knox is Latin for I believe night I just love the name of it Issa Knox a funny story side note I actually was going to name my son Knoxley Yes, Nathaniel was supposed to be Knoxley. That is a spoiler alert that no one on this channel really knows about. I wanted to name my son Knoxley. My husband said no. <laughs> actually, no, he really liked the name. He actually came up with the name, but then he really wanted something with a really special meaning because we had such a difficult pregnancy. So we were going to name our son Knoxley. And then now it's Nathaniel. And I think Nathaniel fits him really well. Anywho, so the this line here is infused with Payanol, and if I butcher any of the names, I do like the pronunciations of the ingredients. I do apologize for that in, in advance, uh, but it is infused with Payanol, which is a unique extract that's harvested from rare peonies. And so I really want to talk to you a little bit about how they extracted. It's produced and harvested in a way and cleaned in a very specific and special way. From what I understand, the plant itself has was grown for 10 years absolutely pesticide free. So there's no pesticides within the plant itself after it's being grown for so many years, for over for about a decade actually. And then the flowers are harvested within a 10 day period in the spring in order to maximize the quality and the content of the active compound inside, which is of course that panel. This is in fact an exclusive ingredient to LG, which we are now in partnership with. So to capture the best essence and the best moments of each peony flower, what they do is every single petal that they collect, they clean it and they treat it very thoroughly by applying like a very unique skill, which is used in tea processing, which is also known as floral curing technology. So if you want to read up more about that, you can go find out some more. So let's talk a little bit about panel now. So panel, it is a bioactive compound found in the peony flower and it has multiple anti-aging effects on your skin. So it helps your skin to look, you know, like healthier and more radiant and make it become firmer. And also it helps to brighten the skin. It also helps to restore your skin to a more youthful state and it helps to support the production of two distinctive uh, structural proteins, which is collagen and syndicate. Syndicate, syndicant, syndicant, syndicant. I think it's syndicant. Look it up here. And it also helps to reduce the look of age spots associated with ex the excess production of melanin, which is awesome. Um, I had a sunspot here that I've talked about many, many times, and I was able to pretty much eradicate that with the use of the power serum and also are convincible. In addition, I was doing a little bit of wikipedia and also just kind of Googling the different products and just to kind of learn what else they talk about besides the trading that Avon offers us. The other cool thing about Payanol is that it 
it like I said, it is the compound found in the peony flowers. But in addition, it was also it's a component that's also found in some traditional Chinese medicines, which I thought was really cool because not only um not only is uh, is panadol good for you externally for your skin, but also it'll be good for you internally. Not saying to ingest these products. Disclaimer: Do not eat your face cream or serum. Got that? Don't do it. Okay. Uh. I need to get out more. <laughs> Let's talk about each and individual product. I have not opened these. I uh, okay. Honestly, I've seen the packaging in videos and in Avon's marketing media, but I have not actually seen the products in my hands because I want to leave that first impression to be very genuine and very authentic for you guys. We're gonna first start talking about the serums. The serums, because I mean, when you do your face care, you do wanna layer from the lightest ingredient to the heaviest ingredient. So usually what you normally do would put, you would put your um, serums before you put on your moisturizers and your creams. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna swatch it a little bit here and then um, at the very end I'm gonna go through the entire process on my face the rejuvenating serum and I'm gonna keep looking over here because I have notes there's no possible way guys I can memorize this my brain is old I can't remember and even I think I just have you know no memory I keep calling it baby brain even though I'm no longer pregnant for almost a year now <sighs> Tis what it is. This is a Paynol infused serum, and both the eye serum and the face serum is infused with with the Paynol, which is the uh, rare peonies extract. It's formulated to help improve your skin's elasticity and radiance while visibly reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles for younger and firming looking skin. So that is the claim from Avon. This one is specifically to help address multiple visible signs of aging, including tone, texture, and clarity. And then um, it also is supposed to visibly reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's great for normal, dry, oily, and combination skin. And the key ingredients in this is ceramide, niacinamide, and squalene. Okay, so ceramides and niacinamide we've talked about before in the past. So what is squalene? Squalene oil fights off skin damaging free radicals that contribute to the signs of aging. And it also has a powerful anti-aging property and will help this uh, the skin age gracefully, as well as anti-inflammatory benefits. It also helps with skin conditions such as acne and eczema. Very interesting. And that is from the truthbeautycompany.com. And then from Avon, if you are a representative, what you can do is you can go onto the events calendar and make sure you do take one of the live webinar trainings. We have experts, like literally, we have experts who are there to train us and to teach us about these products. I do remember the FST talk Talking about the squalane, 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 because there's a squalene and a squalane. So this is squalane. So I do remember that the FST did talk about squalane, and that is to help with also the clarity and like the age spots. And also an added benefit of the squalane is that it can also possibly help with sunspots, which is the whole reason why I decided to buy this whole line. You say sunspots, I say I'm in. I am in because. I never want this thing to come back because it was such like a thing for me. So I'm really excited about that. To use this, you apply it for AM and PM and you apply it to cleanse skins and then you follow with your eye serum, eye cream, and finally your face cream. What's really interesting about this and I'm still wrapping my brain around this. You're actually supposed to use the serum, the face serum first before you use the eye serum because apparently the eye serum, the consistency is a little bit thicker than the face serum, which to me in my mind is kind of like reverse because I would have assumed that the face serum would be a little bit thicker than the eye serum, but apparently not. So I'm going to listen to my FSTs and I'm going to do it how she tells me because if, if she tells me to do it this way, I will do it that way to try it out. So now let's open this up. So this is the rejuvenating serum. You already see this. <gasps> Ooh, oh my gosh. It is beautiful. <gasps> Check that out. Okay, so, oh my gosh, on first impression, this looks so luxe. So this particular line, it is part of the Avon Prestige skincare line, if I remember correctly. So the uh, the Mission Luxe Rev would be the luxury line. So this would be one step, I don't want to say down, but I mean, price point level, skin, I guess skincare technology level, because it's not fermented skincare. Um, this is a prestige level, so still fantastic. Look at this packaging. It is this beautiful gold and rose gold tone. It is stunning, 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 stunning. Wow. It 
it's actually a quite large um, bottle. It has a total of 40 ml. Now look at the top. Even the top of the bottle is nice and textured, which is a really beautiful just detail on it. And if you look inside of it, is it a turn cap? Turn? Pop? Oh, it's a pull cap. Pull cap. Wow. Even the inside. Look at Oh, it's just so well finished. And then the inside of the bottle here, look at that, look at that detailing. So there definitely is a lot more detail to this, which is really beautiful. The other thing that I really like about this is the fact that it has the expiration date right printed right on the bottle. I just love the play of it with the rose gold and the gold and all the different finishes and textures on it is stunning. The print on the back, you can also actually feel it, which is really nice. It just has this like really nice, I don't know, I just like the texture of it. I'm like petting it like my dog. Good puppy. Let's test this baby out, shall we? I think I'm going to have to pump it a few times first before I'll get the product out. I'm going to put it here. Ooh, see that? Wow. Ooh. Okay, it has a floral scent to it. And it has this beautiful kind of like peachy coloration. Ignore the hairy arm, but this is like slightly peachy coloration, and it's it it came on quite cool. It had a bit of a cool to the touch, um, and it has almost like a little slight pearlescence to it, which is really interesting. And so I'm going just to rub it on my hand. Oh, it's super silky. Wow, really really silky. Okay, be modest. It's a little bit more fragranted than I thought it would be. It's not a bad fragrance, but if you have a scent sensitivity, like if you have a scent allergy, this may come on a little strong. It almost smells like a perfume to me. It has a bit of a bright floral scent to it, which is really interesting to me. All right, yeah, so it's already dried, which is like it absorbed in really, really fast. So the texture, it is a little bit thick, but um, it absorbed into my skin really quickly, which was really nice. And as it finished, it doesn't feel tacky. The, the scent already softens up really, really quickly within like the first minute. So that is the serum. This lid has some weight. And not to compare products, but I'm comparing products. This is my power serum that I normally use. It's beautiful. I love it. I use this daily. Um, and it's be I love it because it's also a booster serum. So you can use this as a layering serum. But like, I mean, you could tell... <laughs> Like the weight of it, even just the weight of it, it's very different, right? Yeah, but don't you think this would just look so gorgeous on a mantle? Oh my God, love it. Okay, next. Next, let's talk about the eye serum. So the eye serum, and again, it's supposed, it's one of our first true eye serums is what I was told because we did have the Hydrofusion eye serum, the little, the tall, skinny blue one that has like a cooling applicator tip that you use to massage into your, under your eyes. But apparently this is our first true eye serum, which is exciting. Not quite sure what that means, but that's okay. But this is um, also, it's a panel infused eye serum, which helps to visibly reduce lines around the eyes, as well as to depuff any bags that you may have. You can keep this in the fridge uh, so that it gets that extra little bit of cool. Actually, one of my sister representatives has this little makeup fridge that she can put on her on her makeup table. And I think it's the cutest thing. I'm considering getting one because just the thought of that, she's like, oh my God, that's so cool. The Ultimate Rejuvenating Eye Serum, it's supposed to help fight multiple signs of aging, improve your skin tone, texture, clarity, and wrinkles, brighten the, the look, uh, brighten the appearance of the eye area, as well as supposed to leave your skin deeply and instantly hydrated. It's also good for normal dry, and, uh, normal dry, oily, and combination skin. And you're supposed to use it day and night after cleansing and after you apply any other serums, pat gently around the eyes, following by your eye cream and face cream of choice. So yes, you heard that correctly. You are supposed to use an eye cream after this. So make sure you do that, you, not to use this alone. This is formulated with the peony extra, which is the panel, ceramides, niacinamide, bleh, niacinamide, and panthenol. It is dermatology tested and is allergy tested. And they say nine out of 10 women said a made your eyes feel soothed and protected. It is on a based on a seven day consumer perception test. So panthenol is used in skincare products as a humectant because of its ability to affect and hold moisture. Okay, so the panthenol is really like a moisture holding mechanism 
thing ingredient in the product um, and it's sometimes called pro vitamin b5 so much easier to say it mixes readily with different types of ingredients and it's versatile to be used in formulas because it helps to improve the look and feel of your skin all right cool now we know and that's according to the paula's choice website again if you want more in-depth knowledge about the products don't base it on this video go to the events calendar do some learning there, guys, because I'm telling you, the FSTs are so knowledgeable. It's one of my absolute favorite changes that Avon has come up with um, over this past year are the extra trainings from our FSTs. And FSTs are field sales trainer, guys. All right, so here we go. Here is the eye serum. Bum, bum, bum. I had to soak it for a second. I was like, wait, it looks exactly the same. Yes, and I do remember them saying that it is a rather large bottle. So if you're like me, um, you might have a, if, and I usually, you guys know me, I'm doing this and I'm squinting. If you can't see, it's hard to kind of see which ball is the right one. What you can do, put a colored sticker at the bottom of it so that you know that one color is face for your face and the other one is for your eyes. Just a little tip that I thought of. So you can, um, just not have to go like, is this the right one? Because that's something I would have to do. All right, so here it is. I'm not gonna talk too much about the packaging because it looks exactly the same as the face serum. And of course, it'll be a pull cap, but we are going to do a swatch of it. Oh, huh. So the pump, it comes out a little bit less, which is so smart. So it was the pump, and this actually ended up being like almost like a pump and a half because I was like, that's gonna be a really big pump. If it's exactly the same as the face serum, it'll be a really big pump for my eyes. And I just don't think I'll need a lot of, like the entire amount and therefore be a waste of product. So the fact that it comes out a little bit less, smart, love that. Now let's check out the other elements of it. So, oh, it's so much lighter. Oh, that's really good because I was thinking that like if something that's more heavily fragranced around the eyes, it might irritate some people's eyes more. Yeah, actually, I don't know if I smell anything with this one. If I do, it's a very light scent or it could be because of the re remainder of the face serum I had here. Okay, so the consistency of it is a little bit thicker than, than the other serum. Let's just massage it in. I almost feel like it's not absorbing in as quickly as the other one. Yeah, I feel like it almost didn't absorb quick as fast as the other one, which is okay too, because then at least you know. And when you're doing your face care, guys, it is important to let things absorb before you do put on the next layer. Yeah, it's very, very light if there's anything on it. Yes, yeah, so it's almost all absorbed. In. It does feel quite nice. It does offer a slight cooling sensation. Interesting. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but okay, so this is the side that has a serum on it and as i'm looking at it the skin the the lines i almost want to say look at least more hydrated my skin doesn't look quite as textured just on my hands just with the serum itself and that could also be in part because now it's at least a little bit more hydrated so these do seem to offer some hydration right at the get-go which is great because I love layering the, the hydration for my skin, especially now that we're starting to move into the colder months and we're going to be turning on heat in the house and it'll be, it'll be dry and my skin's gonna be like sucking up that moisture. So those are the serums, my friends. So once again, we have the rejuvenating serum for your face and then your eyes. So now we need to move on to the day cream and the night cream. How exciting is this? We're moving right along. Okie dokie. So let's now talk about the day cream and the night cream. So here is the day cream. It is 50 milliliters. Um, and I mean, the box itself is the same type of box as the serum, just shorter obviously with the day cream it helps to reduce the look of wrinkles it's formulated with ingredients to help improve your skin's elasticity and radiance it once again is great for normal dry oily and combination skin and then the key ingredients of this is the panel nutmeg niacinamide and the panthenol so now let's talk about nutmeg so according to spoonversity.com um, nutmeg has anti-inflammatory properties that help to reduce redness and pigmentation in your skin so things such as your scars will become lighter and it also helps even up your skin tone. And according to them, the best part of the spice is it works for both oily and dry skin. It'll help to tighten your pores, reduce the oiliness, exfoliate skin and boost hydration. I'm going to get more, more nutmeg. I have some nutmeg in my, in my pantry. <laughs> I'm going to be like, 
shaving the night makeup, my microplaner on my face, I'm like heal my skin. Maybe I should try that on my, you know what? I might try that on my arm scar. That would be interesting. According to a bunch of different websites, this is, talk, is always talking about anti-inflammatory and clearing up scars. So I guess it's legit, guys. Oh, even Food TV talks about nutmeg for your skin. Now I'm a true believer because if Food TV says it, it has to be right. To, in order to use this, you're supposed to use it after you cleanse your face. And of course, after your serum, you're going to apply this during the day and then following it with an SPF lotion or an SPF cream or some form of SPF because you always want to protect your skin from the damaging UV rays. Yeah, so the one that I've been using is the Hydrofusion Daily one with SPF 50 in it. Oh my God, guys, it's amazing. All three out of the four products so far has been dermatology and allergy tested. And so with the use of this, nine out of 10 women did say they made their skin look dr and feel dramatically smoother. And then nine out of 10 women also, they said that their skin looked and felt firmer again based on a seven day consumer perception study so that's really cool let's open this baby up so this would be great for any who is looking for like premium effective skincare products for like specifically for like anti-aging and then also people who are interested in skincare products that has ingredients extracted from flowers and if you're somebody who's looking for a more you know like contemporary elevated type skincare and you like innovative skincare products it also has the expiry date on the bottom of the jar, which is always nice. Okay, it looks exactly like the serum, but in a shorter bottle. I love this. Oh my gosh. I just love all the textures, guys. Like, for like from a textile experience, it just feels like oh, tactile, textile. Anyways, just, it's soothing just doing this. These are all made in Korea. I think I forgot to mention that. Yet yeah, these are made in Korea. Here it is. And I love the fact that we have a new product that's made in Korea. That is awesome. All right. but Okay. So this is not a pull cap. This is a twist cap. The other two are pull caps. I was like, big reveal. Do you guys keep these? I always wonder. Do you keep them? I keep them on because I feel like it helps prevent the product from kind of drying out. All right, so here it is. It's this like slightly pinky beige color. Definitely scented. It's it's like you're walking into a garden. It literally is like you're walking into a garden in the spring. It just that, it's just that like, like that rush of scents. So it is nice. It's definitely a very different scent than what I experienced than when I had my Mission Lux Rev. But this is, yeah, it's a very bright, fresh, it smells a lot more like the serum that I just showed a few moments ago. So it's not as lightly, as lightly fragranced as the eye serum. Let's do a quick swatch. Oh, again, it's very cool. Here we go. It's holding its shape too. So this is the day cream. Goes on really smooth. Oddly, this one reminds me a little bit more of peonies. Like the fragrance of it. I don't know why. It massaged in really well, and it feels quite moisturizing right away. Oh, and I felt like the scent almost dissipated a lot faster on this side. Like I can still smell, it's just like the essence of the scent, but it's not like, you know, as, as strong. And like already within just seconds, it already feels like it's moisturized and just absorbed into the skin. Wow, it feels really soft already. Yeah, so this side I just have the serum on, and this side I have the cream on. It feels really, really soft on the side that I already have the cream on. Yeah, wow. And this is why you layer your products. For the final product today, the Issa Nux A New Ultimate Rejuvenating Dual Night Cream here. And why is it dual, you may ask? Well, I'm going to show you why right now. Packaging, not gonna, again, not gonna talk too much about because it looks pretty much the same. For the night cream here, it's a dual system with a firming and a volume cream. Yes, that's right. There's a firming cream and a volume cream. So there's actually two creams in this one particular product. So the full box, it does have um, 50 milliliters in total. So it's 25 milliliters of the firming cream and 25 milliliters of the volume cream. 
which is really, really cool. This is the first time I think Avon's done that for a face cream. And um, this is to help support, it also helps to support your skin's moisture barrier. It's infused with panel and mer uh, nourishing macadamia and oil, which is enriched with the omegas three, six, seven, and nine. It's great for dry, normally, normally? Dry, normal, oily, and combination skin. And the key ingredients, of course, is the peony extracts in the panel. And you use this after your, you use your serum, your eye serum, your eye cream, and at night time. The cool thing about this is you apply the volumizing cream to where you feel like your skin needs more volume. So it could be, for example, your forehead and your cheek area, and then the firming cream where you need tightening. So like your chin and your neck area. So um, it all it's based more on what your needs are. I heard another FST saying that, you know, for one week she'll use all firming and then for another week she'll use all volumizing so that she gets benefits of everything and she just alternates it so that's another way you're gonna you can do it for this trial period i am going to use it specifically on targeted areas such as the volume and specific areas right Voluming here and then the firming for here here and i'm also gonna put a little bit of the firming like right here because i always worry about gels like right here, I always worry about that part right there. So macadamia oil for your skin, according to the MukTeaOrganics.com blog, it contains squalene and oleic acid that assists with cell regeneration and it makes this oil particularly useful for dry, chapped skin as it softens as well as it moisturizes. According to HerbalDynamicsBeauty.com, the macadamia oil has anti-aging skin benefits. It has renewal properties, antioxidants, it's soothing, it's also hydrating, and according to them, it won't clog pores, but I read somewhere else that it may clog pores if you use macadamia nut oil directly on your skin. So you want, it's better for you to find products that has it within it as opposed to just taking macadamia nut oil and putting on your face. That might cause acne. Now, the other thing about this that we want to take note is the fact that it does have two components to it. So I'm going to open this up. It has the thing here. It's so pretty. Cool thing about this, just FYI, at the back there's a description. And so on this side here, that is the firming cream, which is the white side. So it's lined up directly under it. Okay, so that's the firming side. So you don't have to remember white is firming as pink is voluming. But the voluming side is the pink side. So if you ever forget, all you have to do is just look at the container and you'll see that it is lined up, okay? little tip. Now the other thing is that the volume cream is also formulated with rice bran extract and that is an antioxidant that helps to protect your skin's lipids which is the natural fats within your skin and so it helps your skin look more usefully plump. Now the firming side is the white side which contains peptides. So peptides helps to produce the production of collagen um, and elastin which helps to firm your skin. I don't know why I'm doing this and then this is not like I'm doing half of my face with volume and half of my face with firming. Although that would be a really interesting two week trial, I don't know if I am comfortable putting my face through that. Can you imagine? Oh my gosh, it'll be more asymmetrical than it already is. Once again, it's also dermatologist tested and it's allergy tested and 9 of 10 women said it did restore the look of their skin's vitality. All great things. So far, like for all of the products, 90% of women did notice a difference in their skin by using the products. Like, so that's awesome. Now, if you are a fan of collagen, and this, my friends, is just a little teeny tiny sneak peek of what's to come, we're coming up with ampules of collagen. Stay tuned for that. I'm really excited about that. First off, we are going to try out the pink one here, which is the volume cream. And we're gonna put this right here. Oh, it's cool. Oh, oh it's actually quite thick. It has a much thicker consistency than I thought it would. Interesting. It has a bit of a cooling sensation. Huh. Just very, very light, like a, like not like a burning sensation, but a cooling sensation. It did absorb in quite quickly, uh, but it, it feels like it's a little bit thicker. It has a scent that is very comparable to the day cream. This one in particular smells a little bit less bright, and it's just almost like a slightly more calmed down scent. 
I don't know if it's just like my nose is on overdrive because I've literally sniffed three things already. Um, and well, this is my fourth thing. Like it, it can definitely still smell the florals, but it doesn't smell quite as bright. Could just be my mind playing tricks on you guys. Now let's try the firming side, which is the white side. And we're gonna put that like right in the middle here. So again, absorbs them quite quickly. Volume cream and the firming creams, they smell very similar to each other, which is a good thing because if not, if you're doing like multiple different parts on your on your face, it might be like, oh, this part smells like this and this part smells like that. They all complement each other very well. Okay, so that all the swatches. Now, my friends, we are now going to do an actual face routine. So that was about a half an hour of just introducing the products. Oh, wait, wow. Ooh, super moisturizing. Okay, real quick note. Now that's had a moment to absorb, it feels really moisturizing. And this part here, where I had the day cream, it feels like it's already absorbed in. I don't feel a tingle. I was almost expecting the, the vault ring one to feel a slight little tingle, but I don't, and that's okay. But now we're gonna do the actual face routine. So for my face routine, what I typically do, I'll either be day or night, but during the daytime specifically, I don't fully double cleanse my face. I will um, use water after I, you know, like brush my teeth and stuff. And then I will use the micellar water and just do a little before I start doing toning and all that things. So I'm, I normally would use my uh, Dr. Belmer Sitka Peptite Ampule day and night. I love this stuff. This is my second bottle of this. I love it. It really pressed my skin. For right now, today, I'm not going to use it uh, because I really want to feel what the products feel just directly on my skin. Um, but for the two-week period, I am going back to using that. And then um, I would do my serums um, and then my moisturizers. And then I would finish with, with the face oil if I felt like it was needed. So today, first off, I'm going to do the face serum, and then followed by the eye serum on both sides of my face. After that, I am going to be using one of my eye moisturizers. And I, right now, I am cycling through three different ones. So I have the vitamin C brightening eye cream here. I use this one on occasion. Um, it's honest, to be honest, it's not my favorite. I think that I just have a slight sensitivity to certain um vitamin C products on my skin sometimes because I was experiencing like little, I think it's called Mila, where it's just like those little bumps. So I just use this every now and then when I look extremely tired, I'll use this. So I'm not going to use this one today. It is a really great product, had amazing reviews on it from other people. It just might not be the best product for me. So I use this one sparingly. Then for the other two, I have been finding myself using more often. This one, as you guys know, is my absolute favorite favorite eye system in the world. I love this. This is my a new clinical eye lift pro. And I just love the fact that there is a top gel and a bottom cream. I've been using this one for years and years and years now. Absolutely love it. But I have been every now and then when I'm feeling particularly parched, I've been using the belief moisturizing eye balm. This is just a small one that it came with a little travel kit. I do have the larger one that I earned from my awesome BDM Jody uh, that I will be opening once I finish this little container. This one is great because you can always use it as an eye mask. If you ever want me to do a video on it, let me know in the comments below and I will get on that for you. So for today, I will use moisturizing eye balm today. After that, on one side of my face, I'm going to do as a day cream. On the other side of my face, I'm going to use the night system. That is the plan for today. Normally also what I do follow up with is using my favorite youth activating massager. Yes, I use this every day, guys. I feel like it has made such a big difference with depuffing my face. If I get lazy and I don't use it for a couple of days, which does happen, life gets, life happens, I, I do see a difference and I just go back to using this and with a couple of days, I feel like this is more sculpted and instead of a very wide U-line, I get a more shaped U-line. They call it a V-line. I definitely don't have a V going on. I have a U. Let's just be honest here. And I'm okay with it. So let me show you my face to begin with. I have been actually quite happy with my skincare and my skin tone and texture over the last while. I have been using for several months now um, the Mission Lux Rev as my night treatment. I was also using the serum, but I ran out of it. And because I knew that I was ordering this. I didn't want to make that purchase right then and there. Um, and the eyes, sorry, the serums itself, I was just using the small ones. And oh my gosh, I'm telling you guys, these last so long. 
so long like it's been months so the mission lets after the initial two week period that I did do the trial for you guys so that now link the video up here for you um, I did switch out to using this solely at night and I went back to using my skin Vincible during the day and then during the day also I use my power serum so first off we are going to use the ultimate rejuvenating serum I've already pumped it up for you guys I I'm just going to do one pump first and then what I do is I like to warm it up in my hands just as whoa did you see that look at that consistency wow okay that was shocking i was like taken aback by that anyways i'm going to apply to where i normally put it and it goes upward and outward you know if I, if you want to do your serum on your neck and chest i would probably suggest two pumps because it felt like that it wasn't quite enough i usually also focus a little bit on my nose area because this is where my pores have to be the largest so i always just give that area a little bit more love and then pat 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 I saw a YouTuber do this one time and, I'll, and it got me thinking, wow, that actually does make sense to pat it in like that. Okay, so that's that. Any extra, put it on your hands because your hands could also use some love, especially with all the hand washing we're doing right now. It's a bit more scented than I'm used to, but I'm hoping that it's going to kind of calm down in a bit. It's not like I don't feel like I'm going to have an asthma attack or anything, but it is definitely more scented than what I'm used to. All right, so now we're looking into the eye serum. See what I mean? I'm like, is this the right one? Yeah, and this, this is the right one. Again, if you need to easily be able to differentiate the products without having to open it, just put a little sticker at the bottom, which will kind of indicate what the product is. This is the eye serum. That's all I'm going to do for now. And they say in the orbit area of your eyes. So like, don't put it on your lid because you don't want it to travel into your eye. I always do like the in part of my bridge too, because I mean, you get wrinkles in that area. I get wrinkles from squinting. So pat, pat, pat. All right, and then I like to sometimes, if my kids aren't screaming, <laughs> and mind you, I have great kids, but um, if I have time, I usually try to pat this in a little bit more to help bring the blood flow going because it's apparently that's also supposed to help with A, absorbing the skin, uh, the, the product into your skin, but also B, it helps get the blood moving so that you experience slightly less dark under eye circles. So the eye is done face was naked at the very beginning the only thing i did was curl my lashes and i did put a lip balm on i did the plum passion one you guys won't you have no access to that anymore so true color plum passion is my last one i love that okay so that's done it's not irritating my eyes yeah like i said it has a much lighter scent than the face creams that i'm really happy with now once i let that dry go maybe have a sip of your coffee or your tea i'm actually a tea drinker in the morning so cheers so that you can really let that absorb before putting on your eye cream. So this is the, I'm using the Belief Moisturizing Balm Eye Cream. And this is the super small trial size. The larger one is definitely a lot larger. But I started using this and I really want to finish it up before I open up the bigger one. They say that you shouldn't put it on your actual eyelid. I've been doing that for years. Because I don't want my eyelids to get all wrinkly. So I've been doing it for years. So your mileage may vary, you know your own face better. So if it tells you not to do it, you be the judge, you make the call, but I've been doing it for years. So I'm just gonna keep doing it because honestly, this is how I do it. Okay, there. Now, here's the fun part. We're gonna do this half of my face, day cream, this half of my face, the night system. Here's the day cream. And so far, everything is feeling really good. My skin feels lightly moisturized, from the serums i don't need that much because i'm only doing half my face it feels very good going on it definitely doesn't feel as thick as the um the mission locked i got a little bit more just in the nose area and then here okay went on quite well let's see if we got it it's not shiny, which is nice. And that's a good thing about a day cream that does not have SPF. Sometimes day creams with SPF, sometimes they have this little bit of a shine. So if you don't want that, especially for like pictures or if you have this big occasion that you want something a little bit more just non-shiny, it's good to get a day cream without SPF for that purpose. But do wear SPF on a regular basis, guys, because trust me, it's going to save your skin. I said that really weird. Okay, it feels really good. So now, let's do the night system. And once again, it's lined up at the back so we know where it goes where. So I'm gonna take the volumizing side and I'm just going to put it on my cheek and my forehead here. Okay, so 
basically this area here. All right. So I'm going to put that in first. If, for some reason, it feels cool. It feels cool. Like, not like, ooh, yeah, man, that's so cool. But like, it feels temperature-wise cool on my face. The scent is, is definitely stronger than what I thought it would be, but that's okay. So now what we're going to do is we'll do the firming side, which is here. And the firming side, honestly, the texture feels thicker. I'm going to put that like here in my neck and my neck and slightly in my chest. So just a little bit here. All right. And then neck and chest. It definitely feels a lot thicker going on. There. It's all on my face. Oh, other interesting thing is this is slightly curved. So if you are putting it back in, you know exactly which way it goes. So you don't get the two formulas mixed up. What I would normally do after that, I would take my roller and I'd roll. And again, my face might look a little bit more red after this, but I think it's also because it's increasing circulation. And that's it. Skin wise, of course, first time we're using it, it's gonna be close to impossible to tell immediate results. I love the idea of an eye serum. That's getting me really excited. So I am going to test this out for two weeks. The most important thing I wanna see is how it might affect these lines here, the lift here. And then of course, these beautiful baby lines right here from me talking. And if it makes a difference here, that'd be interesting too. Yeah. If it does affect on my neck too, sure, amazing. So we'll see, we'll see. I mean, you got to see my face as it is. I'm going to release this video first and then I'll do another one after a two week period and we'll go from there. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoy this video and you enjoy my review videos, make sure you do let me know, show me some love and give me a big fat thumbs up on this video. And if you're new to this channel, do me a huge favor and make sure you click that subscribe button as well as a little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I do have new videos up every single week and you never wanna miss one of those. If you're interested in becoming a beauty boss ambassador, make sure you go to my Easter link down below, click that join Avon button and see what Avon can do for you. You can open up your own online business and sell all across Canada with direct delivery from Avon. I will become your personal mentor and I do have weekly meetings for the team brainstorming together how to build our business online or in the traditional method. Plus for people who are just curious about what Avon has to offer, make sure you do reach out to me and let me know that you would like to join one of our free Discover Avon sessions. They're about 20 minutes long and we have them on a weekly basis. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.